Hello students, hope you are all fine. I am Professor Kirti Sharma, VNS Group of Institution, Faculty of Management. In this session, I am going to take a class or a session of a research methodology unit 5 in which we are going to understand and learn about research report writing. So, let's get started. In this session, we are going to cover meaning, objectives, functions, types of research report writing, steps of research report writing and significance of research report writing. So, let's understand what is report. A report is a statement of the result of an investigation of any matter on which definite information is required according to Oxford English Dictionary. So, research report is the end result of a research. Aap usko ek written format mein likhte ho, to se return document kaha jata hai. Or when the research is come in or communicated in a return format, it is called a research report. It contains conducting research, approaches for performing research, precautions taken for collection of data, final result, Solution for research problem, suggestion for solving research related problems. So, we research ko or research report ko kai tarike se likte hai. Jiska ek particular format hota hai, ek particular sequence hota hai, aur usko likhne ke alag alag tarike hote hai, jese ke alag alag writing styles hote hai. So, aap apne document ko, apne research report ko aur attractive banane ke liye charts, tables, graphs ka use kar sakte hai to make it more understandable and more effective. So now, objectives of research report. Writing. Understanding the purpose of a report. Kisi bhi report ko likhne ka, kisi bhi research report ko likhne ka ek purpose hona chahiye, ek objective hona chahiye. Without any purpose or objective, koi bhi research likhi nahi jati. Second is plan of a report. आपको plan करना होगा अपनी research को और अपनी research report को कि आप उसे किस तरीके से लिखेंगे और किस तरीके से उसका presentation करेंगे. Then third is understand the structure of a report. Every report is following some kind of a structure which is very important for understanding and to make it more effective and convenient. So fourth is collection. Collect information for your report. So, collection of data के बारे में जैसे आप पढ़ी चुके हैं, दो तरीके से होते हैं, primary data and secondary data. So, it is up to you, which kind of data collection method you are going to use for your research report writing. Organize your information, which is very important. If you are organize your whole information in a very appropriate manner, your research report will be more effective. Then, use of an appropriate style of writing which I say in my previous slide that if you are taking or having a very good style of writing so it will be more effective and more genuine and more understanding for those who are going to understand or aapke jo research ko padhenge wo usko aur achhi tarike se jaan paenge so present data effectively which is very important Understand how to lay out your information in an appropriate way, which is also a very important objective of research report writing. Then, functions of a research report writing keeps permanent record of the research. Yes, your research will be used for future trends and will be kept as a document for future perspective. So, it is a permanent documentation of your research. Then, second, awareness. Your information, your research report is not just a document. It gives a very vital information and aware the society and for those who really wants to know the information about what is going on in the around surroundings. Then, formulation of principles. Your research report will help those policy makers to take decision regarding the formulation of principles and policies. Then, Validate other work. So, research report is another way to validate your authentic work and have and give you a prospective way 
to just document your report. Types of research report. There are four types of research reports. Technical, re technical report, manuscript and journal articles, thesis and dissertations, other types of research reports. So, in technical report contains detailed information about the research problem and its finding. Specific individual interested in research methodology can do the research report in a technical way. So, the technical research reports include method used for research design, universe selection, sample preparation, designing questionnaire, identifying potential data sources. So, this is come under the technical research report. Then, manuscript for journal articles. So, in this manuscript of journal articles, जैसे कि आप पढ़ रहे हैं कि इसको केवल journals और research articles के लिए बनाया जाता है. So, the report is presented in the specific layout or design for publishing in an academic or scientific journal known as a manuscript for journal articles. Then, the third, third is thesis and dissertations. Student pursuing PhD or other higher degree are going for a thesis writing and dissertations are kind of a essay or jise aap kehte hai nibandh or thesis to vivran hote hai. Thesis are written under the guidance of professional supervisors. For taking an example, I am a research scholar under the supervision of Dr. Professor Sulakshna Tiwari. So she is going to supervise my thesis in the which I am her research scholar write thesis. Then a dissertation is a 120 to 300 pages essay which describe everything about your research. Then in other types of research report writing we have popular report prepared. So here is popular report prepared for use of administration, executives or manager simple and attractive a very short report which gives a small and brief introduction about your research then second is interim report wo kehte hain ki aap hum apne research ki aur apne project ki ek interim report bhijwa dijiye interim report kya hota hai prepared to show sponsors progress of a research report work before the final presentation of a research report so, आपको final presentation से पहले जो report देनी होती है, उसे interim report कहते हैं. Summary report. Summary reports are very easy and very easily understood by the journal public. It is basically for the journal public, uh, for decision making, for journal users. Then, last is research abstract. Research abstract is the short presentation of technical report. Technical report is the long presentation and for short presentation we use research abstract. So these are the some steps or process of research report writing under this six steps we are taken. First is logical analysis of the subject matter. You should know and very well know about your subject in which you are going to present or writing your report. Second is preparation of a final outline. Which way you are going to select of your research report writing is very important to, more, to make, is, make it more interactive and attractive. Then third is preparation of rough draft. Like a synopsis. Then fourth is rewriting and repolishing. So in this time, in, in this fourth point, you are going to correct rewrite and reset your research report before final submission. Then preparation of final bibliography. Which reference you are going to take and you which reference you are going you take in your research in your whole research which kind of data you are collected. It is come under the bibliography. Then writing the final draft. It is the final step and the last step in your research report writing and yes then it's end. So, what is the importance of research report writing? Communicates the information. Yes, the research report writing helps you to communicate your information, your knowledge to the others. Second is, helps in evaluation. Research always helps in the evaluation and helps in policy making, make 
and setting standards for various industries, general people and etc. Facilitates measuring performance. Yes, research methodology gives a very a brief a chance to give a research and a research report facilitates in measuring that performance which is the outcome from the research. Predict future trends. Yes, as research methodology gives the gap in the research and it also predict and gives suggestions about the future trends and helps in making desirable changes. Research report gives a brief or a very detailed information about in which area we are going to make changes. So thank you all for this and be safe, stay at home and don't waste your time. Study at home, eat healthy and bye for the next video.